Hi, my name is Ane. Welcome back to uh, Iron Fortress in Copenhagen. So in this video, I'm going to concentrate on uh, giving our characters um, cape and pants a battle-worn look. I have um, a cape made of cotton fabric. It's a darker color and some pants, uh, also cotton fabric made of um, uh, in a lighter color. I'm going to take you through three different steps. The first one is cutting, shredding and roughening the fabric. The second one is burning. And the third one is applying paint and real dirt and real ashes to the fabric. I washed and dried the clothes a couple of times beforehand um, because it helps give it a natural, a softer and more worn in look. You could easily wash it and dry it 10 times, but I only managed to do it two times. It's also going to help um, the fabric become more co cooperative um, when you have to apply paint to it and sand it. So first thing is planning. Where and how much um, wear and tear are you going to do to the fabric? And be aware that the warranty doesn't cover the damaging that I'm about to do to these products. Um, the techniques I use will uh, do permanent damage to the clothes. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start up I'm going to start off with the cape because I want to roughen it up more than the pants. Uh, I, wanted to make, I want to make it look like it caught on fire and that a huge piece of it burned away. Uh, I'm going to use my scissors to cut it a little and then I'm going to rip it the way I want it. So now that I've uh, ripped off the fabric that I want to, I'm going to use my scalpel to um, cut some smaller holes and rips to the fabric. So now that I've cut extra holes and ripped the bottom edge of the cape a little more, uh, I'm going to concentrate on roughening up the edges. You can use either the wire brush for this uh, or the sandpaper. The sandpaper, the sandpaper is going to give it a softer look than the wire brush. Um, make sure you concentrate on areas that would normally uh, get the worn out look, like the neck area and uh, shoulder area, and of course the bottom of the cape because it drags over the ground. I'm also going to roughen up the pants a little. Uh, since the character is going to be wearing long boots and the chainmail, uh, I'm going to concentrate on the knees uh, as they would be worn naturally. And I'm also going to concentrate on the seat of the pants. I'm going to use sandpaper again and my wire brush. Uh, I don't, I don't want to make actual holes in the pants. So I went outside, uh, I'm trying not to stink up the workshop and uh, just be a little safe around fire. Uh, I'm going to use this torch to um, give the cape a burnt look uh, along the edge here that I ripped off. Uh, let's see how it goes. Also went outside because if it, uh, if it really catches on fire, I'll be able to throw it on the ground and stomp on it. Oh, so now I've burnt the edge of the cape and burnt some holes in it. And just because I'm outside, I'm going to use the concrete ground uh, flooring uh, to uh, make my cape look even more battle-worn. So um, here we have our cape. It has been uh, roughed up now and uh, burnt. And we're going to concentrate on 
cheating and uh, applying some paint to make it look even more weathered and dirty. Um, I'm gonna start off with the spray paint. I'm gonna work in layers, starting with the lightest. Um, and after I have applied uh, one layer of paint, I'm gonna use the blow dryer to, um, to set the paint, heat set the paint and speed up the process because it's gonna take a while. Um, after I've um, dried the paint, I'm gonna use my sandpaper again to further integrate the paint into the fabric and give it a softer look. So even though the cape is uh, black, I'm still gonna add some, um, some brown colors to it. It's gonna look subtle and really nice. And again, I'm gonna concentrate on the bottom of the cape because it would drag across the ground and get dirty. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the pants. Uh, I'm gonna concentrate on the knees as the knees are pretty much all that's gonna show on the photos. Uh, you could hang them or put them on the mannequin, uh, but I don't care if my paint um, soaks through and colors the back of the pants because my character is going to be wearing a cape. Lastly, I'm gonna apply some uh, real ashes and real dirt to both items. I'm gonna start, up, start off with the ashes um, and I'm gonna mainly uh, focus on applying them in the burned area of the cape. So what I do is I take this um, clear coat paint and I just apply where I want a thin layer and then I take my ashes from the barbecue and apply also in a thin layer you can smudge it a bit if you want to and then if you want to apply more than just one layer you obviously have to wait for it to dry and then you apply the clear coat again and more ashes. I think I'm just gonna settle with one layer right now. I'm gonna use the same technique on the bottom of the cape to um, make it look even more muddy and dirty. And here I'm gonna use both the ashes and um, some soil. So here you see the final result. We have um, the chest plate that Fabian worked on and the chainmail and the arm protection and the pants that I worked on today and the cape and uh, a few extra accessories uh, have been added like this scarf and different belts and weapon holders and a pair of really worn out boots. I'm quite pleased with the result and I can't wait to see um, our model in action in it. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.